So what we're going to focus on is the difference between a hip hinge pattern and a squat pattern. So these are the, the two major movements of the hips and lastly the knee that make up of all of the functions of the hip in movement, in daily activities, and in exercise. So what I want to differentiate is between a hip hinge pattern which is movement that is primarily through the hips and a squat pattern which is a movement that is primarily between the hips and the knee so the exercise that I shared with you guys was a hip hinge exercise where the movement would be primarily done at the hips with minimal knee um, with minimal knee action and this hip hinge requires a person to have so much control of their upper body all of the muscles of their sp around their spine being their core and the muscles of their back so it's the ability to use the hips and the, to keep the spine rigid throughout that pattern which is the hip hinge pattern so we're going to look at an example of what I'm not looking for. So, and we're going to use one of you guys as an example along with me. So the first thing we're going to look at is an example of a movement of the hips that I'm not looking for, which is, which is basically very similar to a squat pattern that you're going to be seeing, but that's what we don't want. And along with, looking at the pattern which is similar to a squat which I'm not looking for we're gonna look at something that is regarded to be more important um, than the squat which is a hip hinge and this precedes the squat because it's the most fundamental movement at the hip so the hip hinge pattern is what we're gonna see as a second example as the correct pattern that I'm looking for and one of you will be in the video still comparing the difference between the correct form which is the hip hinge and the hand placement which is between the heads the, the head the elbow is an extension um, the arms are fully in a overhead position which is shoulder flexion you have a straight line from the spine all the way up to your hands and you're almost parallel to the ground with your chest but your hips are up so we're going to take a look at also the good example of what a true hip hinge is which is means your ability to load through your hips your glutes your hamstrings and all of the muscles that make up of the back side of your body